Hello everyone, my name is Gary Hibner and in this course I'll be going through mixing and automation in Reaper. We'll go through the different methods and techniques that can be applied to mixing a song. I'll be using a song that I'm remixing. I've been working with Soulfact on the song. He's another South African producer. If you want to check out some of his stuff, you can go to the following sites. Soul Factor provided me with a couple of different samples. I've pulled these into Reaper, but I've also added some of my own audio on top of it. I've been working between a couple of different audio applications, and I've bounced out my tinkerings as audio files which I've brought into Reaper. I'll polish up the track in Reaper through the use of mixing and automation techniques. Make sure your tracks are named correctly so that they make sense to you. When you have 20 plus or so tracks in your project, it can start getting confusing if they have unrelated names such as track 1, track 2, and so on. Give them proper names, such as kick, snare, synth, bass, and so on. It'll make everything easier when you get deeper into the mixing process. In the first section of the course, I'll go through the steps to take to organize your project, such as creating markers, regions, and color coding the different sections and arrangement so it looks more visually appealing. You're going to be spending a lot of time working with your tracks while you mix and automate them so you might as well make them nice to look at. So let's jump back to the beginning when I started working with the song. In the next tutorial, I'll explain how to set up markers. See you in the next tutorial.